Hey guys, this is Coach Ryan. Today I'm going to take you through a top test and show you what it sounds like to work at different effort levels with your running. If you've watched the video on lactate threshold and you've programmed the heart rate zones in, you'll be able to use your heart rate zones. If you don't want to use heart rate zones, you can just use how you feel, the sound of your breathing, and how it sounds when you sing a song to feel how hard you're working. Alright, so we're going to start with zone 1. This is zone 1. It's a really easy recovery pace, nice and easy, there's no real effort. If you sing a song, Old McDonald had a farm, really, really easy, okay? Now, I'm going to go up into zone two. Zone two is what is called conversation pace. So for me, that's going to be between 148 and 156 beats per minute. It's a pace that you're working, but you're not working terribly hard. With this sort of effort, you're building all sorts of awesome aerobic benefits for your body. Your heart's getting stronger, your tendons and your bones are getting stronger, you're building more mitochondria. This is where you're spending 80% of your training at this sort of effort. If you're a brand new runner, you're spending 90% or maybe even 100. So when you go out, every day you're running, you shouldn't be running at an effort where you're breathing terribly hard. This should be the effort that you're working with. If I sing a song, Old McDonald had a farm. Super easy. Okay, now I'm going to bump up to the next zone. This is zone three. Marathon pace, marathon effort, or also what some people call no man zone. And they call this no man zone because you're kind of working hard, you're kind of putting in some work, but you're not really putting in enough work to make it interesting. You're not running too hard, but you're also not running easy enough. So this is really where tempo work comes in, steady state sort of work, but you're not running every day at this effort. If I sing the song, it's a little bit harder. You need to go a little faster. There. So it's a little bit harder. Old McDonald had a farm. So it's not terribly hard, and as I go a little bit longer, if I were to go longer, I would settle into it. But you can tell from the breathing from the last zone, zone two, that's a little bit harder than effort. Now I'm going to bump up to zone four, which is essentially right below my lactate threshold. So this is going to be a lot harder, and it's going to be an effort that you're going to run a lot of your intervals at. So your half marathon intervals or 10k intervals, you're below this lactate threshold, you're still working pretty hard, but you're not over it. So you're not finding those, you're not hitting that wall where you can't run anymore. So you can hear about my talking, it's a lot harder. And you can hear if I sing a song, Old McDonald had a farm. It's still, I'm not dying, but it's a harder effort. Now I'm gonna go above my lactate threshold, this is a five. So now this is gonna get a lot harder. It's just a lot more focused not to fall off the treadmill. And if I sing, Old McDonald had a farm, a lot harder. So, you don't want to be here. You only want to be here for certain points of your training. If you're running up a big hill or something in a race, and this is how you sound, you're going way too hard. And then you can go kind of all out, and that's obviously going to be a lot harder. And you're going to just stop. Like this, and if I sing all the names, it's a lot harder. Whew. All right. So those are the certain heart rate zones, and, or the effort levels within those heart rate zones. If you don't use a heart rate monitor, that's fine. It's just called perceived exertion. If you do have your heart rate zone set, that the effort is how it should correspond to your specific heart rate zones. If you have any questions, get in touch with me. Uh, my email is Ryan at milesagoendurance.com. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at, at @ryannapp. Post any comments if you have any questions. If not, have a good day.